Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am actually on Zenite. Now this RSPS hasn't been released yet. This will release two days after I upload this video. If we actually go to the forums, you can see there is a countdown timer going on at the moment. But yeah, this video will be released on June 7th, 2019 at noon time. So yeah, that is very nice. Now this server has been in development for over two years and the developers have spent valuable time building the, even the smallest, most, most insignificant pieces of content. So um, yeah, I'll be going over if a bit of the content in just a moment. I am on the beta client right now for making this video, of course. But um, yeah, they have worked so hard on this project. I have seen this project being worked on in the past on a um, rune server. So yeah, it is very nice that I can actually go ahead and make a video about this project uh, for when it releases in just two days. Now with the release of a huge project like this, there come a bunch of release giveaways from the server itself. So as you can see, there is a huge Discord invite competition going on right now. Um, you can go ahead and check out the Discord yourself. I will leave a invite invite link to the discord down below in the description but as you can see there are a bunch of prizes that you can actually get there are up to 10 winners in this giveaway so uh, definitely make sure you go ahead join the discord create your own discord invite link and make sure that you actually invite all your friends to the discord so you can go ahead and win yourself these prizes now these are quite juicy, as you can see the, camp the competition will end only one week after the release of the server, so on June 14th. So definitely make sure by that time that you have a ton of invites ready, so you can go ahead and win all these rewards. Now as you can see the notification right here, I don't know if you can see the complete notification, but it, it does say um, we've recently doubled the rewards from our Discord competition. Um, as it will be announced with some upcoming pre-release YouTube videos, the highest price went from $100 to $200. So yeah, they actually doubled the prices recently just for you guys, so definitely make sure you enter this uh, competition as well. Now besides that, they are doing some more um, lounge giveaways. For example, they are actually doing a $300 cash giveaway, not an in-game reward, but actually a cash giveaway. Um, for the first person to actually max on regular game mode with the highest XP rates um, They can also trade this in for $500 of donation credits if you prefer that But you can actually win yourself $300 cash which is quite insane guys Now real quick I just want to shout out the Zenite RSPS YouTube channel as you can see right here Right now there are no videos yet because of course the server hasn't released yet now what this uh, channel will do is you will actually have to subscribe to this channel and the channel of the YouTubers that are doing a giveaway in, uh, in order to actually have a chance of winning the giveaway. So therefore definitely go ahead you subscribe to the Zenite RSPS YouTube channel as well so you can actually go ahead and um, win yourself the giveaways that the YouTubers are hosting. But yeah, now that all that is covered, let's go ahead and show some unique content in game as well. Starting off with the home area, of course. This is a custom home area. It looks absolutely beautiful, if you ask me. Even the minimap has changed. Um, by the way, I didn't mention this yet, but if I actually show you guys, this is actually a full Runelite client. So um, yeah, everything uh, from the Runelite futures work on this client as well, which is pretty damn amazing. So um, yeah, that is very nice. But um, yeah, besides that, the home area, of course, looks beautiful as well. You have the stores all spread out around the Grand Exchange right here. Then you have a Zenite portal at the home area as well, which you can use to teleport around the game. As you can see, you have a bunch of um, categories. You have some bosses, some mini games training. But um, something that I like very much is that you can actually just go ahead and go to every single boss just once you join. You actually have to unlock some of these teleports, as you can see. But there are of course some bosses that you can instantly go to. Same with the teleports to the cities, you actually have to unlock some of these teleports. Uh, for skilling I have no idea, no you don't. Uh, training, you also have to unlock a few of these for the mini games as well. So yeah, it is actually not that easy to go ahead and teleport around the game instantly. You do have to unlock some things. Um, it doesn't require that much to unlock these teleports, but you do have to go there by yourself before you actually can uh, unlock these requirements. So that is very nice in my opinion because it gives you something to do like an achievement. Uh, speaking of achievements, they have all the diaries right here. You can do them all as you can see. So um, yeah, that is very nice as well. You can spend a lot of time doing these achievements. Now because this server has been in development for over two years and they actually did add 
every single piece of content i cannot show this off right now because i don't have the supplies or the skilling levels for it but um you can actually do everything from skilling like combining um things with cooking for example i'm just going to use cooking right now uh, you can actually make these ciders the dwarven stouts you can make all pizzas like starting from the flour going up to the full pizza um, then you, as you can see right here, this is how you actually make a pizza, uh, pizza, which is very nice. You can also do this with cakes, stew, spice, basically everything. And this is for every single skill. So basically almost everything works here, which is like a first for me. I haven't seen any single RSPS where every single future works. So that is a very nice feature that they have. Now there is actually a adventure log and a medal system that you can actually get for achieving some achievements in game. Now once you hit a milestone in game like maxing, um, you'll get a forum award for it and that will show on your adventure log on the forums post. Um, you can actually get these uh, medals manually as well, but probably the most medals will be given out automatically. I will just go to a forum post right now by Panda, which is the administrator. Um, he do does have some medals, that's why I'm showcasing his post. But as you can see right under your account you have a medal section where you can actually see that you can achieve some medals. For example, Public Speaker, this is award to the player who most the, makes the most exceptional and organized forum posts. Of course he is the administrator so that's probably why he has that. Um, staff is because he was um, in the past or in the present a member of the Zenite staff team and so on and so on. For example, the Yuzuk. Um, is awarded to the players who have completed the Inferno minigame and earned themselves an Infernal Cape. So yeah, that is very nice. Um, so every single person can achieve some of these medals by just doing some achievements in-game. Now as you can see, you also get daily challenges. So you can get yourself a challenge every single day that you log in. Um, you can check your challenge right here at the Challenge Headmaster. As you can see, my challenge for today is to catch 200 Swordfish. You can check your progress and then you can also see the reward that you will actually get for that um, daily challenge that you will be doing. So yeah, that is a very nice feature as well. Every day you can just get some rewards by just doing your daily challenge, which doesn't take a lot of time at all. You just get a reward for doing it, so that is very nice. Now they also have like fully working raids as you can see right here. So you can just make your party once you have your friends chat. You can go with as many players as you want to, but I will uh, just go alone for the sake of this video. But yeah, once your party is made, you just can enter the Chambers of Tyrex and then you can actually go ahead and do your raid. Of course, I will not be participating in the full raid because I do not have any setup whatsoever. Um, there was just a command for... Um, Oh, you must start the party before you may well I, I don't even know how to do this but um yeah there was just a command added for youtubers so they could actually go ahead and give themselves max stats and stuff so that's why i suddenly have max stats and um the cool looking infernal max cape i i do love this cape guys it looks so amazing but um yeah you can see that there is actually fully working raids also they um will be working on a lookup wiki uh for when the server releases releases so that will be very nice as well so it's time to show off some of these bosses let's go ahead and go ahead and show off the um vorkov mm -hmm. boss real quick um however i do suck at this boss so do not expect me to um actually own it or anything uh, i didn't even bring food so yeah i'm just going to show it off real quick poke it awake and um, try to get some hits in with the twisted bow oh i should actually um dexterous prayer scroll come on fast 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 Please before I die, so I can have the rigor prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, God damn, my phone is going off. Learn rigor. Come, oh, come on. Ah, I'm I'm actually going to die right now. This sucks. Okay, so I was going to learn rigor, but um, yeah, of course I just died. So um, yeah, that sucks. But um, yeah, there we go. Vorkov is actually working quite nicely with all the um, all the mechanics of Vorkov itself. Um, I did get myself a twisted bow, but yeah. Couldn't actually finish the raids, uh, finish the um, Vorkov kill, but there we go, I just learned Vigor, uh, Rigor to make my range kills a bit nicer. Now of course you also have the bosses like Zulra, um, you just board the boat and then you'll go ahead and go to the Zulra shrine where Zulra will spawn and uh, you'll basically have to kill it. So uh, let's attempt that real quick, I have never actually done a full Zulra kill on an actual old school arrest server I think, so um, yeah, hopefully we can... Uh, managed to get a kill here because I have never you uh, fought Zulra with its full mechanics so uh, yeah I have no idea how this is going to work out 
and of course it had it had to spawn at the other side of the of the freaking thing i didn't know any of the rotations i didn't bring any food or anything i just know when to prayer swap basically and i'll probably still fail at that didn't even bring a ring of recoil so these things will probably kill me like quite fast so i uh, just gonna stand behind this um okay move away here so these don't attack me um oh god damn um, they still do attack me apparently but um yeah as you can see i am uh, actually failing quite hard at Zulra, and uh, i'll probably die in just a second but um yeah i'm not even doing damage with the twisted bow which kind of sucks but uh yeah now it's at the mage phase so i think i should be doing a lot more damage right now uh, let me just put this on rapid real quick i should actually fix my oh i'm already dead but um, yeah, as you can see, Zora also full mechanics. Of course, every single boss has the full mechanics on the server, so that is pretty nice. Now, one last thing I want to mention real quick is that, as you can see in the chat, they are actually testing tournaments right now for um, when the server actually goes live. So at the moment that the server goes live, they will be hosting a lot of in-game events, like PvP events, but also like tournaments, which they are testing right now. So they are getting that on point set up for the um, actual release of a server. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I am going to end off my video here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.